Well, well, well. <clears throat> Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. And away we go. Santa Claus and the reindeer are on their way. And um, Merry Christmas to you. They're bringing toys for all the little girls and boys, so you better be good. That being said, I come to you with my first Christmas Grinch candle. Yes, I said it, and I was so excited about this candle. I thought it was going to be my beautiful vanilla Noel candle. I love the scent vanilla Noel. The candles are always a fail. They always are unscented. Um, and I thought, oh, well, Mary Cookie is going to fix all that because Mary Cookie is a repackage of Vanilla Bean Noel, but it is stronger than Vanilla Bean Noel. So everything should be, you know, Santa Claus's workshop. Everything should be as it should be. You know, this was supposed to be that Christmas goose. This was supposed to be a Mary Cookie. And this is a Grinch cookie. This is a Grinch candle here. Why do I say that? Well, it looks beautiful, but I do not smell a thing. I love the packaging, but after I just said I do not smell a thing, I am getting a slight, light whiff of Merry Cookie. I wanted this candle to fill my house with the sweet scent of cookies, and it is not doing that. Boo-hoo. I, I needed this to be a living room candle or maybe a den candle, but I don't want a Merry Cookie bedroom candle, and I do not want a Merry Cookie bathroom candle, and this candle will probably work very well for those purposes. But I feel that with this particular review, if you have a small two-bedroom, one-level house with one bathroom and um, low ceilings, this will probably be a very beautiful candle for you. My review is based upon having high Mediterranean ceilings in a two-level house. I bet all the scent of this is up on the top level. Guests will not be up on the top level. They will be down here with me going boo-hoo. You know, the house will smell like all the different foods and not like Merry Cookies. Oh, I'm so, so disappointed. It, I just smell a little, little teeny waft of uh, Merry Cookie slash Vanilla Bean Noel. And... Also, this candle is so beautiful that I was hoping it would not need to be put in a hurricane or anything like that because I wanted to display it. I've been burning it for a few hours and this is what I got here. Now to me, that's a good burn. I'm fine with that because I figure if I burn it for another hour, maybe it'll correct itself because it looks like it is correcting. You guys, maybe this will burn through and it will be better on my second burn. This is only my first burn, so I'm going to keep hope alive, but I'm letting you know if you get this candle, um... I would say make burn it before the party so that you can make sure if, if it's got any kind of steel on the wax or the fragrances are in the middle, which is something I'm noticing this year, that you have time to get the candle to be fragranced. I saw a review on YouTube and they said the candle, I think it was Hard and Soul, he said the candle was light and he likes light candles. Um, I don't. So, 
But then I went on the Bath Body Works site and they were saying, oh, this candle throws like a 10. So I have to assume that if you have low ceilings um, and the old fashioned like Victorian house with the smaller rooms that um, in those cases, this candle will scent your smaller, you know, rooms, but, or an apartment. But if you live in a more modern, open concept, or if you're in a place where it's hot and you have to have like tile floors or wood floors and high ceilings just to deal with the temperature variations, you may end up not smelling anything on your first level. The scent may all be on the ceiling somewhere. So I just thought I would let everybody know because that is what I am experiencing and um, I don't like it. I'm happy with the burn. I think the flames are nice and high. I love the ambiance of the candle, but uh, I am concerned about the scent. I'm going to keep burning this. I'm gonna come back in an hour or so and see if this candle just had to burn into its fragrance pool and is now going to be lovely scented. So we'll see. All right. <clears throat> She's been burning for a few hours longer. Well, no, actually not a few hours longer. Actually more like 20 minutes longer. And I took a knife and scraped the side. And so now she's got a, a perfect burn. And so I think this is going to be a candle that burns really, really well. And now that I am within two or three feet from the candle, I smell it. It's perfumed nicely. I guarantee you if I go upstairs, the upstairs is going to smell like Mary Cookie. So I think all my scent has gone up to the ceiling. And she's okay. I have to wholeheartedly agree with heart and soul. I would give this candle a six on the throw. Now, if you live in a one level or a ranch style house where your smell stays in your space, it doesn't go upstairs or into any um, high ceilings. I live in a place where it's relatively hot and we have to have those high ceilings, you know, to save on the utilities and so it makes it a little bit more difficult for these candles. I do really good normally with Bath & Body Works candles though. This candle, now that I'm a few feet from it, I can smell it. But here's the thing, I can't have people that close to candles at parties. I need a candle that's gonna throw because I want the house scented. I want it to smell like cookies and <clears throat> I want it to smell like Vanilla Bean Noel. I want it to smell like Mary Cookie. I think this one is probably still a little bit better than the Vanilla Bean Noel candle. So I guess, um, I think some people say you get like two candles and put those two candles in a room and then you can get the scent that you want. I think that might work because I'm getting a scent now that I'm about two feet away from the candle. I'm getting a scent, not strong, not invasive, actually perfect amount of scent for a party. So I'm really enjoying it. And um, that's the way the cookie crumbles, right? So um, I, I was hoping for a very, very strong vanilla candle. I was hoping for a very, very strong cookie scented candle very sweet very cookie scented this candle is very sweet it is very cookie scented it is a beautiful package but i'm thinking my solution may be that i need um two or three candles to fragrance the house you know and i like to watch my candles so i guess probably i could only do two so that i could watch them you know like that so oh well but you guys gooey marshmallow is the bomb it smells just like a gooey marshmallow and it is strong it does not smell like a merry cookie 
So I still wanted this one, but you couldn't do them together because gooey marshmallow, you would never smell this next to gooey marshmallow. So that's my review. If you have a one level house with low or normal ceilings, this candle will smell very good. And if you have smaller rooms, this candle will smell very good. But maybe if you have larger rooms like me, you might have to, um, well, most of my rooms are smaller, but the rooms where guests are, are large. So you might have to do like me and um, buy more than one candle. I'll see how it works. It does smell delicious. It does smell just like shortbread cookies. It's a beautiful scent. I, I have to give it that. But I get frustrated when I'm five feet away from the candle, which to me is a nice safe distance and I don't smell anything, <laughs> okay? So that's it. Comment below uh, if you burned Mary Cookie, if you burned it in the past, uh, if you, you know, you've experienced that. And all you guys talking about this is a 10 throw, you know, I know, I know the truth now. I heard a, another review on here. I've done my own review. Don't even come over here lying to folks to get them to waste their money, you know, because they need to know you're going to have to buy two of these if you're having it in a party or you can't have those people drunk off of um, eggnog sitting right up on no candle, you know. So let's just tell the truth that you can't have a fire hazard with all those, you know, holiday drunks at your house and you sitting up with all these candles. You got to be safe, okay? <laughs> so Jesus loves you and I love you. With all the Jesus in me, be blessed, beautiful, and thanks for watching this video to the very end. And thank you to those of you who comment and like. Oh, and thank you to those who don't comment and just came over here. Thank, thanks to all of you. Thanks even if you, you came over just to dislike it. I appreciate you being active in my um, YouTube experience.